Hello student, in the uh, previous class we have learned how to execute the for loop. So by executing the for loop we have prepared the table of 1 to 10 in the previous class. In this class we are going to execute the while loop. right? So we will learn the syntax of while loop and we will execute the while loop and we will also create a table of 1 to 10 so we have understood in the previous class that we can save number of lines we can save our time we can save the pace of the file by reducing the number of line of code that used to be written in a html document so that advantage we will get by using the loop so it could be for loop it could be while loop or do while loop so as per the requirement you can use any loop but the loop statement that will definitely ease out your work right so let us start the while loop so in this class we are going to learn the while loop now so we have a notepad as a text editor here the html root tag that is written over here and we have a head tag inside head we also have a title tag and we have a empty body right so now here if we hack to print let's say a word hello world document dot write so hello world if we had to print this word hello world 10 times then manually we need to write this line 10 times in a document then manually we have to copy and write the same in 10 separate line right we have to write this in 10 number of lines right then only we can see this word printed in 10 separate lines right now assume you have to write the same in thousands time then you have to copy this thing for th another hundred times right then only you can get the out output where this word would have been written thousand times right so that many number of lines you need to write over here that much time you need to give that much memory space this particular file will occupy because if you increase the number of lines the file size will increase so that much loading time this file will take to load in the browser right so we will execute the loop in this class we will understand the while loop so we did not require to write this for that many number of times we just need to execute the while loop w h i a l e while loop understand the syntax of while loop so while first bracket now here i will give the condition i less than equal to 10 right now until and unless the value of i will be less than equal to 10 till then this thing will be printed okay first we have to initialize the value of i variable i equal to 1 so we have in this initialized the value of i unlike for loop we need not require to initialize the value of i inside the first bracket in here we have to initialize the value of counter i before we write the while loop code right here outside the while, while loop we have to initialize the value of i right we have done now the increment unlike for loop we need not require to write the increment here inside the first bracket so separately here we are going to increment the value here i am going to write i equal to i plus 1 i equal to i plus 1 that means every time the value of i will increment by 1 right or you can simply write i plus plus in both the cases the value of i will be incremented every time right so let me execute we can see 10 times it has been printed instead of uh, hello world if i write hello friend so hello friend will be written 10 times right now if i write over here 100 instead of 10 so you can see hello friend will be written 100 times or 1000 times or any number of times as you want by just simply 
working with the while loop you need not required to manually copy and uh, paste the same line many number of times and it also saves the file size as because you can reduce the line number of line right now let us create the table right if i create a table of 5 what i need to do over here i will create a table of 5 5 into 5 5 into 6 5 into 7 5 into 8 5 into 1 5 into 2 like this right so just see what will i do now here i will write i that is i will be 1 5 5 into y this thing will be printed 5 into i means 5 into 1 5 into 2 like this it will go and print right now it will print in separate line for that i have to add a br so that it can print in separate line right now let me just execute and let me show the same to you see up to 100 it has been printed up to 100 5 into 100 500 so i need not require to print up to 100 i will just print up to 10 5 1 5 5 10 50 right till then it has been printed now if i just write here if i write 5 into 5 into now here i will write i value of i equal to right now let me execute you can see 5 into 1 5 5 into 2 10 5 into 9 45 and 5 into 10 50 so this is how i have executed the table of 5 now i have to execute the table of 1 to 10 10 tables i have to execute 1 to 10 1 to 10 as we have done in the previous class for loop right for that we want to create a nested while loop okay so before i start getting the nested while loop i will also put the value inside the table so i want to put this value inside a table so first thing i will do here i will write d o c u a m e n t document dot w r i t e right here i will take a t d as i told you i want to write uh, and execute this inside a table formation so table definition open table definition closed and inside the table this value will be printed that i have shown to you right w h i l e while loop so here now i will take j j less than equal to 10 so we have taken now another counter j j the value of j that is less than equal to 10 this is the condition it will execute till the value of j will be less than equal to 10 so here i will write variable j right equal to 1 so two variable i have declared i that is equal to 1 j that is also equal to 1 and here i have written that variable j will execute till the variable j's value will be less than or equal to 10 fine now this three line of code i will just go and put it here put it over here fine and every time it will take a td that means it will take 10 number of column right because j will execute till the value will be less than equal to 10 that means this will execute 10 times right 10 times and here it will be printed i i into j i into j here it will be i into j right and i need not require to ha have a br right because we have taken this td right instead of td we can also use table heading tag th table heading th right so now what we have to do i need a row so here i will write just see document dot write 
here I will take a table row right document dot write table row now here I have to close right here I will close the table row try to understand try to understand that while this while loop inner while loop will execute 10 times that means it will print this table heading one after another 10 times and this table of i value will be shown that means i into 1 i into 2 i into 3 like this way i into 10 10 times it will be shown and the value of i will be taken as a uh, table input so that table will be shown and after that it will take another row when this execution will complete it will take another row and also here I have to increment the value of j so here I will write j plus plus that means the value of j will be incremented un unless I increment the value of j how can the j value will reach to 10 and how can I uh, do create this table right fine now we can see what we have done after that we also need to place the table tag no here just before the outer while loop here I will write document dot write so here I will write the table right opening tag and after this outer for loop I will close the table tag right now if I go and execute now only we can see one table table of one so we can see that this has been executed once right after that it has not been executed why let me explain you j value has been incremented j value has been incremented and it will become 10 and we will exit out of this particular loop and the value of j unlike the for loop has not been initialized yet. so in case of for loop the value of j was in initialized here as j equal to 1 so when every time we, we, we used to enter the outer loop every time it also entered the inner loop only because the condition of j equal to 1 has been given over here but in this case while we are using the for loop the j value was incremented and it became 10 and in the memory location j value was saved with the incremented value that means j is 11 it will go and increment every time so here it will become 11 and that will be saved in the memory so next time when again i will be incremented this particular loop will not work because j will be checked 11 and that means we will not go and enter uh, this loop and this function will not take so what we have to do before we execute out we just here just after we complete this after we complete this loop here i have to write j again j equal to 1 so after we complete this execution j will be again in initialized by 1 so that again when we check this loop then j will be 1 and this execution will take place again just let me show you now you can see right now let me write the css for the table right now for the table i will take a border border 1px solid black right so we have a border now i will give the same border to th th will also have the border right now you can see th also have the border now i will give the background color to th so if I write here T H B A C K background color. Now background color I will give black. Black for T A T H right. Now text color that I will give white. Right? Text color will be white. And I will give height of 40 p Right? So just let me execute and check how it looks. You can see this is how it looks. Right? Now I also want to add here at the left side that to specify that this each of the row is belonging to which table so for simply that you can see i can simply write here before the starting of each and every table here here i can add document dot write here i can add our, our table heading right our table heading i will add over here and i can simply write here that table of i 
i means the value of i right so let me show you just you can see table of 1 table of 2 table of 3 table of 8 table of 9 and table of 10 right so this is how you can execute if i want to bring this table right at the center then i can simply uh, inside the style i can simply write b o d y body here display flex display flex and j e u s t i f y justify content justify content center and another line of code i will write align align item center so by these three line of command i can simply do one thing see so this table will appear right at the center so just go through the coding just what i have done in this script a very simple uh, while loop that is nested while loop this is known as nested while loop i have created to just create the table of 1 to 10 right 1 to 10 so instead of this I could have created the table of 1 to 100 no matters what is the requirement by this few lines of code I can create many many uh, complex thing in a simplest way right so I hope that you have understood how you can easily use this looping statements it could be for loop or while loop or do while loop whatever you want you can execute so i hope you have understood what i have explained to you today in this class in the next class i will discuss about the do while loop till then goodbye and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you